Well, he is cautiously happy to be back in Arizona, but still has not had a chance to see his 12 year old daughter yet. Meanwhile, ICE officials here not answering any questions, just telling us they'll release a statement when they're ready. I get in shot, you know. Jose Gonzalez, the husband of fallen U.S. Army soldier Barbara Vieira, is relieved to be back in Arizona. Dropped off at the Phoenix ICE office around 7 o'clock last night. I feel happy, but at the same time, I feel frustrated. He's undocumented, even though he's a widower of a U.S. citizen. Last week, he ran into trouble a few blocks away from his Apache Junction home. Jose Gonzalez says he was on his way to work when law enforcement pulled him over here near Tomahawk and Southern. This was last week, Monday, around 5:30 a.m. I see like six, seven cops around me with point me with weapons, you know, screaming to me. Ice agents like, arrested yeah, him and a few days later deported him to Mexico. I'll be scared because in the moment I don't know who's the people, you know. He says he hasn't seen or told his 12-year-old daughter what happened, but they texted this morning. He shares custody with his wife's parents, and it's not his turn to see her. He's Hard, you know, when you have like young custody, you know, the whole process, you need to like, you know, the court, whatever I say, but like I feel happy because I said this Friday I can see again. His immigration attorney, Ezekiel Hernandez, see, like, says he was released on an order of supervision, to which means he has to check back with ICE in a month. Give a hug and I was pretty happy about it. We were just asking that the process that's in place that we followed was respected as well by the institutions that govern us. So the big question, why was Gonzalez arrested in the first place? That's not clear, but his attorney claims ICE made a mistake, but we're still waiting to hear ICE's side of the story.